G'day, I'm Steve Daly and welcome to Daly's Ozark Fly Fishers The Good Oil, the video series to help you become a better fly fisher and get more out of fly fishing the Ozarks. Now when the red buds and the dogwoods start blooming, it's time for us to go looking for some hillbilly coho. That is striped bass, white bass and the hybrids. And this issue, Chad Johnson and I hooked up with Ozark's temperate bass guru, Bill Butts from Springfield. And we went chasing these fish on the North Fork of the White. Bill explains to us what's different hunting these fish as opposed to smallmouth or brown trout in our waters. Why temperate bass? Because they're the best. <laughs> in my mind, are the, the hardest striking, hardest fighting family of fish that we have in inland waters. So it's, it's kind of like three different fish in a way because you go from uh, a, a saltwater game fish that gets very large down to a, a one to three or four pound white bass that is native to our region that fight just as hard pound for pound as, as anything you can hook. And uh, it's just a little different than trout fishing and smallmouth fishing where you kind of find them in the same water week in, week out. <clears throat> with the temperates, it's more like hunting than it is fishing, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Because... Saltwater fish are tremendously strong, and uh, but our temperate basses, until people experience them, they just don't understand how strong these fish are. Little negative line flow. I'm native to the Ozarks, so the, the rivers and the bluffs and the, the trees and the spring flowers and all that, that's just something I look forward to every year. So the spring fishing is uh, just all part of that experience, part of what I've grown up with. Hey, check this storm out up here. Yeah, look at that big swirl in. Yes! Whoa, that's cool. Like a big portal. And it is spinning too, boys. Yep. Look at that center eye of that thing spin like that. Well, we're on the North Fork of Missouri watershed on the Missouri side, and that's uh, one of my favorites, which is North Fork and Bryant Creek. Uh, the James River in Southern Missouri, uh, the Spring River in Northeast Oklahoma, um, Sock River, Little Sock Rivers in South Central Missouri, all fabulous white bass fisheries, and, and some of those have hybrid stripers also. Um, the White River above Beaver Lake, of course, which is a warm water fishery, they have all three of the species, uh, which is a, a great uh, draw, a great opportunity, because <clears throat> you never know when you might hook any one of the three. In, in our region, Bull Shoals Lake and Table Rock Lake have the largest bat, white bass in, maybe in the country. Yeah. And that's because they have totally optimum feeding resources from the day they're born. Uh, they don't live any longer, about four years, but they commonly get four pounds and larger. State record's about five and a half pounds, so that's a big white bass. You don't see many that size, but they're swimming in those two lakes. For the white bass, I, uh, I like a six weight or a, a seven weight. Uh, any place like where we are now, the fishery, fishery where we could be in some hybrids or even stripers. I rarely ever fish anything less than a seven, and uh, today I'm fishing eight weights because I know that the guys yesterday caught some really nice size hybrids, and that extra strength of rod <clears throat> is a benefit trying to land them and get them released before yeah. they get too tired. So um, 
Eight weight, seven weights are probably the most common, sometimes a little bit bigger. This is a small hybrid striper, and the reason it is is because the markings are very distinct. They're dark, even though they're broken lines, they're very distinct compared to the more common white bass, which if it was a white bass that size, they would be much less distinct. Man, look at the belly on it. In Norfolk, yeah, I mean, he's been eating good. Yep. How big do these get, the hybrids? A uh, big hybrid's gonna be over 10 pounds. The uh, state record in Arkansas is 27. That, oh, sorry. They, uh, they pretty commonly get to 10 and larger. As the day headed for a close and the sun started to drop down behind the ridge line, we really started to see a lot more fish moving. Yep. <laughs> Those splashing sounds we hear are hybrids and white bass, hybrid stripers and white bass in the act of spawning at the surface of the water. Very noisy, very distracting. People think they can catch them if they cast at them, but they have their mind on one thing, one thing only. Two times have I ever seen this many hybrids. Awesome. Yeah, they're staying up there. That's serious spawning right there. That's some heavy sex. <laughs> Look at that. I bet they'll be back. All too soon the day was done. Nightfall, cutting things short. It was an appetizer day. Just enough of a taste to make sure you want to come back and hunt these wild fish in the Ozark River.